What's up, Africa? Okay, I'm intrigued. On a scale of one to 10, exactly how offensive is this? Chinese women marrying blacks is no longer something rare. In my neighborhood is a Chinese engineer who returned from Angola, and his wife is a black girl. However, she's one of those very pretty, high-end black girls. She's very slender, and not one of those fat auntie types. <laughs> Her skin isn't the kind of oily, all greasy black, but rather black brownish, or more brown. That was an English translation of a recent post on www.chinasmack.com, a website that's home to other wonderfully enlightening journalistic posts like Quang Zhao, government official, caught chatting online. Naked. <laughs> China Smack is clearly a sensationalist website, but I've got to say, the article about Chinese men marrying African girls and the reader's comments to that article does make an interesting read. <coughs> US comedian Chris Tucker made a trip to Nigeria recently as part of a documentary, and there are a couple of things about the video that kind of made me smile. I'm ready to go to Africa just to relax and, and, and have a good time. I'm looking forward to seeing all the lions. <laughs> You can see lions anytime. I decided to show Chris Tucker a different Africa. We took him to Nigeria and introduced him to a farmer named Olashegun Obasanjo. First up, he only went to Nigeria, but he referred to the trip as going to Africa. Really, Chris? Do you have to refer to a continent as if it's a country? Second, as you saw, Chris Tucker met up with ex-Nigerian president Obasanjo, world statesman, still highly influential and respected politician. Make no mistake, even as the former head of state, Obasanjo's voice is heard across the continent and around the world. You show up for the ceremony you are to attend. Take, uh, give them apologies and go back to Abuja. FYI, Mr. Bassinger, it's a telephone, not a freaking loudspeaker. Hello? Hello? Uh, hello, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? <laughs> Bless him. <coughs> Time for my last clip, and this week I've got a video roundup from the Hague Africa Music Festival, which I presented last weekend. What's up, Africa? We're here at the Hague Africa Music Festival 2011. There's jazz, there's high life, there's hip life, there's rap, there's hip hop. It's crazy. Enjoy and give a warm welcome to Mr. Jeffrey Orien. How does this compare to, you know, Mama's Own Home Cooking? Mama's Home Cooking or this one? How does it compare to this? Mom might be watching, so I'll say Mama's Cooking. Yes. What a day, what a day! Yeah. I can't believe we're nearly done. What's the moment you've all been waiting for? My weather son is in the house. A man known as the biggest artist in Congo. Insane day, man. We've seen Congo's number one artists. We've seen musical legends like uh, Jeffrey Oriema, uh, Dobe Nyaore, and Bombino. It's been crazy. All right, that's it for another week. Before I go, I want to give a shout out to my blog of the week. And this week, that is www.awesometextsfromafrica.blogspot.com. Watch till the end of today's episode to see more pictures from the Hague Africa Music Festival, courtesy of Miriam van den Berg. If you guys enjoy the show, you can join the What's Up Africa Facebook page, you can follow me on Twitter, and you can subscribe to the YouTube channel! Whoa, whoa. I'm sorry. That was wrong. That was, that was too much. I'm just dealing with a few anger issues at the moment. See you all next week on What's Up Africa. Africa.